and what is it that what is that actually made you come to a literary event well i actually come from a journalism background uh, through journalism a lot of my writings have been on cinema the two sessions that i attended one which were spoke and the other that i moderated had something to do with literature and cinema in its own way one was about superstardom and about how uh, there's been a change in terms of how public perceives those and whether that reflects in the kind of literature that is generated in stardom within bollywood itself uh, the second one was on film criticism which is a lot of what i do uh, and it was about the writing of film criti- uh, writing in terms of film criticism which was fun in its own way that's nice so mayank uh, how would you rate the current scenario of the critics world where it's actually getting uh, i would say a commercialized world even the critics world it's always been a commercialized world uh, why should critics be any different or they don't belong to another world uh, yes a lot of actually the the reviewing that happens is actually from the public now uh, a film being 100 crore is the best review that you can possibly get and then it becomes a 120 crore film or 150 crore film uh, in terms of film buffs i think they will they've always followed certain film reviewers and i hope they continue to but they have much wider cho- choices now internet gives them that wide choice twitter especially uh, social media even facebook gives them um, a wider choice so uh, it's a very vibrant time which has nothing to do with all the other reviewers that i'm talking about which has been co-opted by bollywood that's another discussion altogether but it's a very vibrant time to discuss anything uh, films in particular because films is something that everyone has a stake in uh, we're all film buffs in this country and we just love to discuss and so long as there's great avenues for discussion through film reviews the more the merrier <laughs> and what about the current scenario where uh, i mean uh, there are a lot of independent honest filmmakers and even uh, honest critic review uh, critics and how do you actually plan to tackle all the mal practices which are going around i don't plan to tackle yeah <laughs> just watch a film uh if i like it if i don't like it i emotionally respond to it that is what a review has been for me that is what i hope it will continue to be forever uh what others are doing uh good for them yeah you know you're not here to change the world <laughs> you would be very happy to do things that you that you like to do and that's precisely what i've been up to of late that's nice so mayank <clears throat> from momo mera to midday to any tv and not your own website how's the journey been it's been great yaar i started out with midday which was my first job didn't think there was such a thing as a as a film critics job in the first place that wasn't also it doesn't even exist in that sense even now to a large extent but you know it was journalism and i used to do all kinds of reporting and things like that but realized that there is very little money uh, in that field and you know my friends would be doing their mbas or going to harvard or oxford or wherever else uh, with those fat paying you know fat paychecks and i was just feeling like you know does it even make sense from that perspective but i stuck around i thought it wasn't about the money it was about you know i'll st- i'll stop if i if i stop enjoying and uh, well been doing exactly the same thing for far too long but only platforms have kept changing so whether there's a mumbai mirror after that or an ht after that or a you know a freelancing jobs thereafter and to my own site now which is just another platform i think the best thing that's happened to me in in the past 10 years 10 odd years that i've been around is the advent of internet and somehow is this so much easier to reach out to more people without spending too much money and that is something uh, that i would like to exploit uh, through the medium through my site which is the w14.com it was indeed a pleasure talking to you thank you so much uh